Yes. Okay, so today's webinar is going to be about audiobooks. And we're going to talk about the Audible app and how to use it. So what is Audible? Um, Audible is a subscription service by Amazon for audiobooks. An audiobook is a recording of a book or other work being read out loud. This is a free 30-day trial of Audible when you first sign up and membership starts at $15 a month. You can access all your audiobooks using the Audible app on Windows, Android, iPhone, and iPad, or by using the Audible website on Mac. The Audible app is available on a variety of platforms, including Windows, Android, iPhone, iPad, Amazon Fire tablet, and it comes built in on most Amazon Kindles. You can download Audible for Windows from the Microsoft Store. If you're using an Android device, you can download Audible on the Play Store. If you're using an iPhone or iPad, you can download it on the App Store. You can skip this step if you're using Mac. So launch the Audible app on your device. It's the orange app with a white icon that resembles an open book. On Mac, you can just go to the Audible website, which is www.audible.com in a web browser instead. If you've used Audible before, you can just click or tap sign in to sign in to your account with your email address or username and password. If you haven't used Audible before, you can select get started and either sign up with an existing Amazon account or tap new to Amazon to create an Amazon account. On Mac, you also have the option to click try Audible for free on the Audible website to sign out to sign up for an account. To search for a specific title, you can select the magnifying glass on the top and type the name of the book or author you want to search. Or you can also browse the available audiobooks by your favorite genre. On Windows, you can click the three horizontal lines button, then click categories and select genre. If you're using Mac, hover the mouse over the browse button and select a category. If you're using an Android, you can tap the three horizontal lines button, then tap categories. On iPhone or iPad, tap the Discover tab and select the categories. You can choose from many different categories of audiobooks, such as fiction, sci-fi, children's, bestsellers, romance, and much more. Scroll over a particular book to see ratings and reviews. When you find a book you want to purchase, select the book cover image. This opens the book's main page with uh, additional information and reviews. This page also has a purchase options. If you have Audible credits available, you can select the buy for a number of credits button. Otherwise, select the buy now for price button to purchase an audiobook. On if, if you're using an iPhone or an iPad, you'll need to purchase Audible books on the Audible website, then return to the app. So your library. Your library is where you can find all the books that you have purchased with your Audible account. If you're using PC and Android, you can select or tap the three horizontal line button and then select library. If you're using an iPhone or iPad, tap the My Library tab at the bottom. On Mac, you can hover the mouse of Library and click My Books. Unless you're using the main Audible website, if you want to listen to your Audible book, you'll need to download it from the cloud. To download an Audible book on the Windows app, Android, and iPhone, simply click or tap the book's cover in your library. You'll see a downward 
arrow in the bottom left corner of the image. If you're using Mac, you can simply click play under the box cover to start streaming the audiobook. If you want to download the audiobook to play in iTunes, you can click download on the far right instead. After the download has finished, simply select the box cover again to begin playback. The play controls will appear at the bottom of the screen. You can press the play pause button to play or pause playback. Press the skip buttons to go to next or previous chapter or use the curve arrow buttons to jump 30 seconds forward or back. On Mac, if you previously downloaded your audiobook to play in iTunes, you can click the media pull down menu in the top left corner, iTunes, and select audiobooks. Then click your audiobook to play it. So now I'm gonna show you a live demo on how to use audiobook, Audible. So, how do I add? So, um, since you can't use the Audible app on Mac, we're just going to use the website for the demo. So, just type audible.com, then press enter. So before you can fully use the website, we must sign in first. So in order to sign in, you can just click the sign in button at the top right of your screen right here. So um, if you have an Audible account or you have an Amazon account, you can just type your email address and password. But if you don't have an account, then you can click create your Amazon account. It will then ask you for your name and email and the password you want to put in your account. After you fill this up, you can just uh, click create your Amazon account and then just sign in. Since I have an account, I'll just go and sign in. Password. And there. So after you sign in, uh, you'll see a bunch of options right here at the top. If you want to be a member of the Audible, you can go to the home options right here. And then just click get started. So it will then ask you for your credit card information. And at the left of the screen right here, it'll, it'll show the benefits you'll get for becoming a Audible member. So the first 30 days are free. So you have a 30 day free trial. And after that, it's gonna charge you $15 per month. Uh, if you have the Audible membership, uh, they, they're gonna give you one credit a month which you can exchange for one book. So each month that you have Audible membership, you're gonna have one free book. If you already use your uh, free books then, and you can and you want to purchase other books, you'll get 30% if discount. And no commitment, cancel anytime and keep all your audiobooks. So what this means is that even if you cancel your membership, you can still use the books that you've purchased. So if you want to purchase the membership, then you can just fill this up and then click sign up. Then go back now. Uh, if you're finding a particular book you want, you can click on the search tab right here where it says search for a great book and just type in the title of the book you're searching for. 
um, let's see, for example. And then after you click enter, it's gonna show the results of the title you typed in. If you can't find the book you are looking for, then um, you can also click the advanced search below the search tab right here. And then you can put keywords, the titles of the book you're looking for, the author, narrator, or the publisher, so that you can find the book, you can exactly find the book, what you're looking for. So let's go back. So if you find a book you're interested in, you can just click the title of the book. And then it's gonna show you more information about the book. So it's gonna give you a bunch of options here. So, so if you subs if you are subscribed for a membership in Audible, uh, you can click this button right here, which it says free with 30 day trial. You can only have one free book per month if you have the membership. And below that is about is more information about the membership details. If you don't have a membership and you want to purchase the audiobook, then you can click the buy button right here. So it will show you the price of the audiobook. And if you're interested in the book and want to buy it later, you can just click add to wish list right here. So we're just gonna click that for later. If you, if you want to hear a sample of the audiobook, you can click the sample right here, the sample button right here. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it, but it should play a sample of the audiobook. So if you want to know more about the audiobook, you can just scroll down and we're gonna see the product details, more information about the audiobooks, the author and the narrator of the audiobooks. And below that is the reviews. So you can see the review of the people who bought the audiobooks right here. So um, if you don't have any particular title in mind, but you want to read books, you can just click uh, the Browse Audible option right here. Uh, it will then show you uh, different audiobooks categories, which you can choose. For example, if you're looking a comedy book, then you can just click the comedy button right here. And then it'll show you like the bestseller books that's related to comedy. You can browse a book you want here and just pick whatever you want. If you want to see the books you've added to your wish list, you can click the wish list button up here. So, so you can see this is the book that we've added earlier, the Harry Potter. And it's gonna show you the information like the author, the narrator, or the date you've added the audio books. It's also gonna show you an options right here. So if you want to use your membership to get the book for free, you can click the free with 30 day trial button right here. If you want to remove it from your wish list, you can remove it by clicking the remove from wish list button down here. And if you want to buy it, you can click add to cart. Oh, wow, to cart. So I'm just oh. gonna do that. And as you can see, there's a number popped up right here at the upper left, upper right corner of your screen. So the number indicates 
how many books are in your cart. So if you want to view the books that's, that are in your cart, you can just click the cart button. It's gonna show you the books that you've added in your cart. So if you want to remove the books in your cart, you can just click the remove button right here. And at the summary section right here, summary section, it's gonna tell you the total price of the books in your cart. So since I only have one book in my cart and it costs $36.85, so total will be $36.85. So if you want to buy it now, you can click proceed to checkout. And then it's gonna ask for your credit card information. And after you fill that out, you can just click complete purchase and it's gonna take you to the confirmation screen. And after that, uh, you, after you, after, after you confirm your purchase, then you can find your book in your library, right here. All the all the all the books that you purchased and downloaded, you can find it in your library. So, all the books that you purchase should be here, ready to play. And if you want to see the audiobooks that you finished, you can click the finish button right here. It's going to show you all the audiobooks that you're finished reading or listening to. And if you want to see the audiobooks that you haven't read yet or you haven't finished reading, then you can click the unfinish button. And just to add on to that, um, once you've finished a book, um, especially if you have a subscription, you can return the book and then you can use that credit to take out a different book. Yeah. So uh, the credits are uh, refundable, basically. So that's a good thing to know. Yeah. So um, if you're finding a particular audiobook that you purchase, you can click the search tab right here and then just type in the title of the book you're finding. If you want to organize all your audiobooks like a folder, you can click on the collection menu right here beside the titles. And right here, it will allow you to create folders for your books. So if you want to create a collection, you can click the create your first collection button right here or just click new collection. So it's it then gonna ask you for the collection name. So you can just put wherever you want. For example, um, this audible example, and then description. You can put any description you like. This is optional. And after that, you can click create. And you have your folder. So if you want to add books on your folder, I mean collections, you can just click go to titles and then you can select the books you want to add to your collections in here. So let's just go to the collections and this is the collection that we made earlier. So if you want to add uh, X, if you want to add new collections, you can just click new collections again and then add a title. If you want to delete a collection, you can press delete collection, delete collection right here. Then click delete to delete the collections that you made. If you, next is your account. So um, if you want to view your account, you can click the button right here that has your name on it. And then it's going to show you like your membership status, your account details, listeners page, your pre-orders, member benefits. Going to show you how to listen to the audiobooks that you purchased. It's going to show you gift center. And if you have a promo code, you can click this and 
just enter your promo code right here and then click redeem. And you can also see the help button right here if you need help on the website. And if you want to sign out, you can click the sign out button below right here. So beside your account setting is the credits available. So if you have this is if you have a membership, they're gonna give you one credit per month. So that means that you can exchange that for one book. So if you want to view your credit summary, click here. And then it's gonna show you the available credits you have and the number of titles you have in your library. So you can also change some of your account settings at the left screen right here. So you can view your membership details or you can manage your credit cards. You can also update your settings. You can see your purchase history right here, your gift history. And if you want to change your notification settings, you can just click right here. It's going to give you a bunch of options. So if you're having trouble with the website or your account, you can click the contact us button right here. And it will show you a bunch of options. So you can select the problems you have right here. So for example, if you have trouble signing in the website, you can just click that and they're gonna give you instructions on to how to contact the customer service. If, if, the, if your problem is not listed in here, then you can just click something else and it's gonna show you instructions on how they can contact you or help you. And that's all.